the walk starts off at a car park in Coldstream. It's free parking and there's also a toilet there. I said it was 30 pence but it was it was open when I went. So you get free parking, you get a toilet and you pretty much start straight away, you're straight into the wood. It's nice and shaded in here if it's a hot day. And you should be able to see the path nice and easy. Of course this is a council walk. It's part of the Coldstream Paths network and walk it. So you'll see these posts marked if you're doing this walk. I've still got my map with me, my Ordnance Survey mapping app, and I've also downloaded the Coldstream Walks booklet as well onto my phone and saved it. So it means if I get no network, I can still follow the map. The Walk It Path network encourages people just to get outside, and there's lots of different walks in and around Coldstream if you fancied that. All set out in the booklet. Short walks, easy walks, some longer distance walks, or perhaps you could combine a few of the walks together. So I just came across a signpost, and the one I'm looking for is Dunglass Wood, which is straight on. I love seeing little things like this in the woods, and little improvised shelters made. I've just come off the main track now. Isn't this great? So quiet. I've not really had to check my map. There really has only been one track, which is great. Great if you're not used to using a map. Uh, those maps that you download from the council are ideal. You're never too far away from anything. There really are tracks, well-worn tracks, to encourage you to get out and about. You could try in your local area, or if you are visiting another area, perhaps with a touring caravan, or you've came down on holiday. It's great to just to get out. I like to come and recce the place first, see what it's like, and then I think, do you know what, my family would enjoy this. I have absolutely no doubt my two boys would love this wood. Okay, the wooded track starts going uphill a little bit here. Now what you could do, have a wee look at your map, have a look at the orange grid lines, and you'll see that it starts rising in elevation. That's good to get you used to your map work. I'm puffing because I'm doing a run and walk here. Um, also have a look out for features on the ground and try and pick them out on your map. For example, there was a little gap in the woods there and I saw off to the distance some high ground. Now I know that high ground is there because I looked at my map beforehand planning my route and there's a little trig point on top there. I used my ordnance survey app to look at the map. So look for those features as you're looking about and try and match them with features on your map. I like doing that, I think it's fun. I enjoy it. Not only is it fun, you also get to know where you are and that's really important. That's a lot more than fun, that's essential. I'm now looking left and right at the wood. Can you see how all those trees match up and here so that was planted nature doesn't plant in straight rows like that <laughs> for a planted wood I think it's fantastic it really is a lovely woodland walk I've come off onto one of the smaller tracks now and I just wanted to show you the difference so you can see 
might be a little bit more difficult to follow when things are overgrown. The track is there, you just need to be looking at your map a little bit more often. Sometimes the track sort of disappears in the undergrowth. You need to have a wee look about. I came this way because I wanted to see this obelisk. Yep, that's big. I'll read this. Alexander, Earl of Home, in the memory of his son, William Lord Dunglass, who died in this year of his wounds received at the Battle of Guildford in America. Not far to go now before I come out of the wood. Really enjoyed that part of the walk. And I'm looking forward to the next part as well. It's a nice viewpoint that I'm looking forward to seeing. Really pleased I got to that obelisk. Uh, nice to see. So I'm just coming up to the little footbridge that's up ahead. switched to my phone now, the, my memory card on my small camera is full and I was stopping to listen to the sound of some bird of prey there squawking so it's a little bit harder when you come off the main path the path is much smaller here And that's me arrived at the footbridge. Chance for tea dog to cool off again. From the higher track you can just make out the obelisk. Looks good. So peaceful. This is the upper track here so this gives you an idea. Probably a lot easier going than the lower down track. That's me at the Cow Arch. I can see that on the council's map. Next to the Hersel Estate. Private grounds, but a walk going round them. Really peaceful today. Okay, I'm going to get a wee jog on up here. So, this is the walk down to Hersel Lake. You can see it's a tarmac road. T Dog has spotted a pheasant running through that field to my left and he's not happy that I've said no. I've walked round the outside of the walled garden to see if I could find an entrance and sure enough I found it. But like many Victorian walled gardens, they're really just put to grass now. The walls are still there. There's some lovely plants round the outside but the inside is is bare. There's a wee nursery up in the corner. Costs an awful lot to upkeep these places. That bird there is absolutely teeming with butterflies. Let's see if I can get out and see any. Lovely. Better keep going. I just realised I made a mistake there. There was a junction, so as I came up to the junction, I saw the yellow arrows which I've been following with a red arrow, and that was the wrong track. That is not the one that I'm looking for, and it's not the yellow arrow I'm looking for. It's a different type of yellow arrow. So just be mindful 
when you see these arrows, don't assume that that's the exact track that you're following. I needed to turn left, not right. I sort of got down the track and the golf course was on my left hand side and actually the golf course should have been on my right hand side. It was then I realised I must have gone wrong and I turned back. Don't be scared of making mistakes, we all make mistakes, absolutely. Have the courage to admit them, resolve them, sort it out, job done. So this is me picking up the correct signs now. Can you see it's the cold stream paths sign? So you need to look out for that signage, that's the path that you're going on. But it wasn't, it wasn't marked at that junction. So that was good, glad I realised my error, turned back and it's a result of just keep checking your map and if things don't quite look right, well, you need to retrace your steps. And when I realised that golf course was on the left hand side, there was something not quite right. I was making good headway, saw the yellow arrow and just ran off down that track, wrong one. Coming towards the end now. Okay, that's me on the last bit of the walk now. The car park's not far ahead. I really enjoyed that walk. Fantastic for woodland. Really, really nice. Highly recommended that one. I'll definitely do some more walks in Coldstream again. Those guided walks by the council, the leaflet, really handy. Gives uh, nice sightseeing information as well and some background into what the wood's about, what the areas are, some points of interest on the map. Thanks for watching the video folks.